Hi, in this lecture, we'll check about the north alignment. In this land survey plan, here we can find north line. So there's a north line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the north line over this one. I'll say L enter for the line. And if I zoom here, this is a, an image file. So this is a raster. So what we have to do is we have to do a guess. Okay, we can find the thickness of this line. So I'll guess in between and then I'll zoom out. And now I can find my polar tracking is tracking and disturbing me. So what I'll do is I'll temporarily turn off my polar tracking. Now there's no polar tracking so I can pick wherever I want. And if I zoom here and here also I can find uh, this is the north. Okay, don't pick the center of this one. Just focus on this line and the thickness of the line. I'm going to focus on the mid of this thickness of the line. So I'll keep uh, somewhere here accurate as possible. Okay, done. Now that is the north direction as per the image within the image. Now this is the CAD software. The CAD software is also having a vertical direction. Here what I mean by north in the sense in the CAD Y axis. So I'll draw a line L enter in the same bottom point. Okay, same end point and I'll draw another line a little bit outside. So this time I'll turn on polar tracking. Then it is tracking towards Y axis. I'll consider that as the north of the CAD line. Okay. Now it's very difficult to see this because of the white color. So what I'll do is I'll select these two lines only and I'll change that uh, color using the properties to red. Done. Now if I zoom, you can find the difference between these two lines. See, there's a difference. The image north is not aligned to the CAD north or the Y axis. So why this is happening first? So let's discuss that first. Uh, it is because when you are scanning the document in a physical scanner, if there's an angle, for example, if you see, this is the line and this is the paper. And if you have an angle, then that is the reason for it. But anyhow, we don't have this much of angle different. No? We don't make that much of a mistake. But even though if you align the paper, there may be a minute error in the rotation. Okay, so that's why we get that. So let's uh, try to solve that in CAD. Right, now you know the reason behind it. Okay, that we cannot eliminate. Okay, but we can correct that in CAD. Now what I'm going to do is I want to rotate this image and this little uh, line. I just want to rotate uh, and align with the CAD Y axis. We can say that as CAD North. Okay, right. For this, I'm going to use the rotate tool. I'll say R O enter for rotate and I'm going to select uh, like this so that uh, the image and this little line is selected, not the bigger one. Okay, right. Hit enter. Then it's asking, okay, specify the base point to rotate. I'll select the bottom point as base point. Now, if you check here, see, I cannot align that. Okay, so we have already learned about these things in the previous courses. So I'll come to the sub option called reference. And I'll define the reference. This is the pivot point, the rotation point, and the other point is the top of this uh, line. Now what happens is that node of the image is coming with me. Okay, then I can pick this endpoint to align that node with the CAD node. Okay, done. Now if you zoom, you can find the CAD node. That means the y-axis is precisely aligned with the north of the image. So this is called as aligning the north. So the north alignment is done. So at the end, what I can do is I can select these two lines and I can erase. Now I have corrected my images north direction as per the CAD north. Okay, that's all. We'll further develop this in the next lecture.